Dobro veče, dragi moji tangeros i ne tangeros i evo nas u Temišvaru prvi put. Eto ja koliko plešem, prvi put sam sad ovde i razgovaramo sa plesnim parom iz Argentine koji je večeras imao nastup subota veče u Temišvaru u muzeju Srpske pravoslavne crkve Sabrina i Alvaro. So we will switch in English now. Sabrina, Alvaro, it's nice to meet you here. Uh, do you like the, the country you are here for how many days? Here will be uh, for three and four days with classes and workshops. And after that we will travel in other cities. We have to go to Constanza, Romania, Oradia, Mishwara. And after that we will go to Finland, Tampere, in a little festival so we'll take, they will have a championship. Are you planning to visit Serbia maybe? Maybe, yeah, yes. Maybe. Yeah, for sure. there, it so would be nice. It would yeah. be nice to see you there as well. To go. And tell me something about this festival in Temishwara. Yes, this festival was organized by, uh, by, by, by Maria. Maria. Yeah, she's a good organizer also in tango. She has a good experience with Tango Salon. I think that she's a. Where did you meet? Here. Ah, in the, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, in Constanza. In Constanza. With Maria. We, yes, uh, we were, were here the last year. And we meet Maria uh, because we have a friend, Carmen, in Bucharest. She introduced with her. So she presents us and she starts to make something. She liked uh, our type of tango or style that we have. So she invites us to make something here. Uh, People like it. It's our second time here in Timisoara, so... Oh, nice, nice, nice. We want to, to try to show the tango salon, the typical from Bishokisa, it's a neighborhood in Buenos Aires. So we try to, this tour, in, all around this city we will go, to show this type of tango is maybe a little more different than the people dancing here in Europe. Yes, yes, it is a bit different. Yes, uh, I, you know, uh, our teacher is Carlos Perez and Rosa Forte. They have a lot of students, a very good students, like a champions, a lot of champions. Sebastián Jiménez, Maria Gana Jogado, Marina Cucho, Hiroshi Yamao, Dante Sanchez. Dante Sanchez no, a lot of them, they are his students. So it's like a one type of tango that totally different than another places. It's like, it's also they not share something like technical or mechanical things in tango. It's more about the culture that they have. Carlos was a, a dancer in the 40s, 50s, in the age of, the golden age of tango. So he had the special touch and also the, how he shared the tango for us. No, for us only for our How time. old is he now, if he was in the golden age? Yes. 83? 83. Still teaching? Yeah. Yes. Great, yes. great. Yeah. We're careful about the pandemic, but he's still teaching. He loves a lot. So. so it's great because you have the opportunity to learn from the best teachers from this period. This yeah. is very yeah. rare, actually. It's exactly, because yeah. now in Buenos Aires, the, all the teachers from oh, that age are not alive, yes. so are very few teachers that age, like Eduardo Parejita, um, Raul Bravo maybe, but all the, the others are not alive. They was a good dancer to teachers, but it's the period now. And what do you think from, from this, this point of view, like uh, how tango changed from the golden age till today? It's really a big change, I yes. think. Yeah, I yeah think with the mix of the dancer of ballet, uh, folklore, Acroba acrobatic, yeah, uh, more technical, nuevo, uh, more technical. Yes. Because I can always compare it to the, these two movies, uh, Tango Lesson and Tango uh -huh. from Carlos Saura. And yeah, then yeah. we have this uh, way of dancing in this movie Tango from Carlos Saura, and the technique is completely different yes. for women. For example, they are doing uh, completely different moves yeah. in walking and everything. Today we have so many 
uh, ornaments and and Adornos, yes. Yes? Yes. yes yes before uh, I think that every dancer have a different style everybody have the same line like the same ima imagine of the tango okay was that period but everybody was different now I feel like not everybody but On, more yeah, the almost most star like similar, similar Dancing, mechanical thing, the same technique, and they don't look something special, different in the expression. I don't know. Maybe musicality is also yeah. people from Europe. They don't really listen the music. I I mean I cannot generalize yeah. things, but when you analyze uh, couples on the dance floor, I'm musician, so mm -hmm. uh -huh. it's like I'm really paying attention to the music, beginning of the phrase, the end of the phrase, how how you can dance on on the music to show the music. Yeah. And they are more like okay, music is there, but I'm dancing my my things, and that's it. Yeah, if yes. some milongueros, old milongueros, say that the true tango dancer dance in compass. What does it mean, in compass? In compass, that they, they, we can say now like a technical thing about the strong beat or soft beat, and then between that you have a lot of things. Yes. It doesn't matter how is the time, but is you have to listen the melody, the singer, because always they also are the changing. Beat, yeah. The lyric too is giving something else. Maybe the lyric is very sad or low, but the, in the back the orchestra is very quick. So you have to interpret that how you will dance. You cannot da dance something sad very quick. You know? Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, you have to feel the interpretation. So if we don't know Spanish, and I, I know some, some words, because we were all watching Spanish telenovelas. <laughs> so I have Maldita Mujer, I know this. Que hora es? Que pasa? No sé, no sé. But I don't know. Uh, so I have to definitely learn Spanish so that I can understand the, the yes. lyrics. It will be much... Very nice. But if you listen very well the melody, the melody too is saying the voice something. Tell you something. The voice, yeah. the melody of the voice is crying maybe. Maybe you can understand the lyric because I know also here a lot of dancers, they understand the lyric, but I feel like they are listening very well the music. They have heard his interpretation, women and leaders too. Here, I feel like the people here can hear more than in other countries. But it's similar, more or less, the language, some words are yeah. similar, the Latin. Um, also, I think because also here was living uh, El Flaco Dani, so he, the people here have a good experience with the He was an old milonguero. A old milonguero, so they could uh, absorb that essence of the tango, salon or traditional, that we call it. Now, because now all the evolution in tango is tango salon, tango milonguero, tango pista. What do you like? Tango. What do you prefer? Tango salon? Tango yes. salon. Have you tried the milonguero? Or uh, it's, it's very. It depends how you call. Today we talk about that. Call, about the milonguero. milonguero. What's the means of milonguero? Because in the period, the history, milonguero was the person who lives in the night. Uh, with the cabarets, drinks, drinks play, a lot, play with games, games yeah. exactly. So that was the, the means of milonguero, the person who lives in the night, during the night, no, like a bad person. Oh, yes, it's yes, okay, okay. Now with the milonguero. But milonguero yeah. style, uh, I mean, it's different from tango salon. It's it's uh, yes. it's more for depends, crowded places. Depends where you you say milonguero. For example, in Buenos Aires, when you say milonguero, it's the people who dance every time, every day, every night, every morning, all day is dancing. They we call milonguero. But uh, some people call milonguero too, one style, like very close. Yes, yes, close I was right. thinking about that yeah. actually. I didn't uh, know about this other meaning. Yeah, it's because uh, some people believe that the milonguero is only close breaths, but the milonguero is dance who is in the milonga, not all the time dancing, maybe he's drinking something, sharing with the people in the social place, that he's calling milonguero. And nuevo? Tango, nuevo, okay. This it's is very a, complicated. It's, it's a mix quite... with the, all the new dancers, with contemporary ballet dancers, all the mix of 
it's Jupiter that they can do. Yeah, also the, the, the embrace is more open. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's broken actually. You yes. can yeah. break this. Could be close and in one moment could be more open, different. But this still in connection we can say is different. But you don't okay. like it so much anyway. It's not your no, style. Maybe no, in the no, future okay. you we, will try. We never know what yes, yes. but uh, Yes, normally tango that we have in Buenos Aires is tango salon, pista, or milonguero, but... What is pista? I don't understand that. I, I am hearing this expression first time. Yeah, it's something like a evolution of tango salon, because tango salon had some rules, okay. because it's from the 40s, no? So uh, tango salon in the 40s was with some rules, no boleos more high, uh, high boleos, yeah. High boleos, not open the embrace, to keep like a milonguero, what they call tango no, salon. salon. Mm -hmm. In the place where you can dance with social. social. Now milonguero in Buenos Aires, for example, where you dance small, places are full of people, full of dancers, but you can dance salon or milonguero if you want, but in small steps. And the pista is more, a little bit more acrobatic, more the sporty tango we can say ah, okay more technical more for competitions it's like for me i feel it's not about the other dance but it's, i feel for me in my experience it's like a uh, i don't know the same ah, okay. same to mechanical aesthetic and technical the same thing i feel sometimes for it because tango pass milonga like, and yeah. the same it's like moving moving make adornos and step like all the time yeah, without maybe without hear the music yeah something. they hear more like more like beat, beat rhythm or exactly. syncopa more that structure so you know what is the next steps because you know the syncopa is repetitive the beat the rhythm so you can understand that but in tango salon or also some dancer with tango pista they are all dancers in tango salon you feel that that they have that mix and their interpretation is more big, so it's a good experience. And with Tango Salon you can actually interpret not just the vocals, but also other instruments, yeah? Yes, of yes, course. Of yeah. course. You if never know, you can dance a lot of time the same song, but always will different. be the same, different time, different. different expression, different sensation. You will always improvise uh, listening to another source, maybe a vocal, maybe exactly. bandoneon, maybe violin, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. maybe the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is actually the beauty of tango, I yeah. think. Yeah, in tango salon, almost all my friends that I know, also, they never is practice one song. I feel like uh, also I know that uh, before to dance, they choose the song before, one minute before, or yeah. in the moment, because uh, you have to dance like, if you want to dance, for example, this early, one song, you have to dance all this, all this early, Carlos this early, because you never know what will happen in the moment. How is the flow, how is your partner, always we are changing, so. Yeah, yeah, this is the, the this, magic of tango, exactly, yes. Exactly, that's yeah. the moment, this one unique moment. It was really a great pleasure. I would speak with you now for yeah. three hours, Zaya. <laughs> but we don't have so much time. So it was a great pleasure to, to meet you here in Romania, in Temeswar. And I hope that you will visit Serbia um, because you are now in the neighborhood. It's like, yeah, uh, we are very near. Yes. Also, we are thinking, okay, we, have, we can go where we can go. We have one of the, the greatest festivals in, yeah, in Europe, you know, Belgrade Tango Encuentro. Yeah, yes. It will be like, I think, uh, 2,000 people this year. Yeah. So I hope maybe you will find time to, to drop by to this festival or simply to, to come to a regular milongas. We have everyday milongas, so it will be great to, yeah. to see you and maybe to to teach us some lessons about musicality because this is something that um, a lot of dancers should um, uh, how to say to learn more about musicality how to understand uh, uh, Argentinian tango how to understand this music and how to improvise to this music not just to listen to the beat yeah. so um, 
this this knowledge is very uh, valuable to, to all the tango dancers. So uh, again, thank you very much. It was an honor, and uh, see you soon, I hope. Yeah, and then yeah. we can continue with this nice conversation. Yeah, now we can also we can move on to. Ciao. Yes, yes, yes. Ciao, dragi tangerosi. Pričat ćemo ponovo.